Hi everybody, I am Vanessa, welcome back. Today we're gonna do an energizing routine, something really simple and easy that we can just do seated on the mat, you don't need any props. This is a great movement routine when you just need a little quick pick me up. So we'll just start seated, cross-legged, or however you're comfortable sitting. Uh, if you wanna place a cushion or a yoga block underneath you, that's always an option. But we wanna think about getting that spine nice and long. So if we think of our spine, it's our central nervous system. So so if our central nervous system is all collapsed and rounded, then we're probably not gonna be feeling too great, right? We wanna give it space to live and breathe. So finding that nice long spine, and we're gonna really focus in on moving the breath and the movement together, right? As always, linking that as kind of our magic potion. So we just place the hands onto the thighs. And maybe even just close your eyes here for a second and really visualize your spine stacked. Your shoulders are just gently falling down, but nice and open through the collarbone. The crown of your head is reaching up towards the ceiling, so we feel that length and right away, energy, both directions, right? We're rooting down, but we're also lengthening up and creating more space, more expansion. Breathe into that, right? Let the lungs, let the ribs open, right? Think of your breath as your lifeline, as it is. So really pull in more energy, more oxygen, fuel your body. And as you exhale, completely empty out the lungs. And let the breath really change your state, your state of being, your state of wellness opening up to those possibilities, right? See how easy this can be. And then we'll just start to circle the pelvis around. So waking up the low spine. If you ever wake up out of bed with a sore or tight low back, this is a really nice one. Opening up all through the waist, moving through that pelvis. So exhale as you circle back, inhale forward. And you can even think about puffing out the chest. Nice and confident as we pull around through center. Exhale to the back. And so we wanna kind of almost think of this as a meditative movement. Right, if you want, close your eyes again. And just finding that repetitive motion where it becomes just muscle memory. Almost like the body is leading you. And you can just stay present with the breath. Exhale back, inhale forward. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. And then let's reverse the direction. Same breath pattern. Inhale front, exhale back. Really reaching with the chest. And then notice how the abs are working here, right? As we curl back, the pelvis is scooping under. We're drawing that navel in towards the spine. This even helps wake up our digestion. So in the morning, another nice one. Feeling those sits bones really ground down into the earth underneath you. And then let's pause right in center. And just come back to that neutral spine. Notice if you feel any differences in your spine. Keep thinking about that two-way stretch. On your next inhale, it's just a seated cat-cow. So really open up the posture here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, scoop and curl back. Inhale, open, eyes go up, chest lifts. Exhale, curl and round. And so you're really using the grip of the hands to deepen that work into the spine, into the abdominals. Up and down. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Forward and back. Now I'm gonna to start to pick up the tempo. So a little bit smaller but really intentional. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Here, I think you're really building that energy. Maybe you'll notice some heat start to come into the body. And think about the whole spine, right? Not just the lower back, but the shoulder blades. Open up your posture. Don't be afraid to make those audible breaths, right? It really helps guide everything. So we stay totally connected. Think full body and mind integration. Again, go deeper. Try to find that meditative state as you link the breath, the body. Opening up space. Last one. And then come right back to center. Let the shoulders relax down. Notice if you feel any differences. Starting to feeling a little hum, a little buzz in the body now. And then we're gonna take it more up to the upper torso. Squeeze your shoulders up by your ears. Now really squeeze, really squeeze, 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 squeeze. Like every Pilates teacher's nightmare, squeeze. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, squeeze with all of your might. Really contract those muscles. Feel what it feels like to fully contract. And then just the opposite, fully release. Squeeze, create tension and let it go. Oof. One more nice and slow. Exhale, let it go. And then we start to pick up the tempo. Really drop down. So we even kind of get this little shake happening in the body. Waking up all of our nerve endings. Maybe we can even bring our awareness into different body parts that maybe we couldn't before, right? By creating that energy, we can become more present in the body, more present in our mind, and more present as we move through life. Whew. Okay, the shoulders are getting fired up. Little faster, down. Down, 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 down. Really shake it out, right? If you got some tension, you got some stress you wanna let go of, here it is, let it go. Down, 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 ha. <laughs> down, 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 down. Five. Last one, ha, let it go. Ooh, and just feel, relax and feel. Now my spine is really buzzing. Mm, let's take it into some rotation. We're gonna take our fingertips to our shoulders. So inhale as you twist to the left. Exhale as you twist to the right. And think, just like we do in Pilates, we stay really connected into our core. We're in one piece. Inhale, exhale. The head moves with the rest of the spine. If you're lucky, you might get a few twists, but keep bracing through the core. And you take this as strong or as soft as you want, right? Tune into how you're feeling. Can you keep that energy in both ends of the spine, curling up, reaching up? Twist right through the waist like a washing machine agitator. Sometimes I think like a helicopter about to take off with this one. Find that flow. Inhale left, exhale right. Really wake up. Feel as much as you can.
bring out that waist every last drop. Let's go. 10 more. Navel to spine. Last one. Come back to center. Ah, let everything rest. Ooh, now feeling that buzzing all the way up into my head. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take it onto our backs. So go ahead, lay right down. We're gonna curl into that tight little ball shape, hugging your knees in towards your nose. Find this tightest, tightest little ball shape. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Engage your biceps and triceps. Pull everything tight, pull your abs down. Inhale, stretch out. Wide star. Exhale, hug back in. So go from as small as you can get to as big as you can get. Exhale. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Inhale, reach and pull out. Exhale, pull it in. Reach to all four corners. Exhale, pull it in for five, four, three, two. Last one. Pull it in and rest. Let the head go, let the shoulders open up. Feel your whole body now long on your mat. Shoulders gently squeeze underneath you. Opposite arm and leg are gonna lift up and take it back down. So it's almost like a march laying down. Stay really connected into your core. So we're gonna create some more heat with this one. Again, find a tempo that feels good. Right, a little dynamic as we push and pull, work with gravity. Inhale, exhale. Can you keep your torso really solid? So the shoulders stay back and down, shoulder blades stay wide onto the mat. Abs are pulling down. Remember that rib to hip connection. So my core is like, on fire bracing. Now, if you want a little bit more, chin to chest, press the floor away, push. So bottom hand really presses down into the mat, push, push. If you want a little more, now the leg is gonna float off the mat. So we're in that deep lower ab contraction the whole time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Press the palms down into the mat each time. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Let everything go. Ooh, yeah. Relax and feel. We just got one more left, one more left. Right, let that repetition really take you into that meditative state. Feeling your body, think from the inside out, right? Don't worry about what it looks like. If you're like me, you're in your home alone, don't matter, just let it feel good. Okay, so this next one, it's gonna be very similar to our 100 shape. So we come into that abdominal engagement again. You're gonna curl round up, so you have two choices here. You can squeeze your legs together, keep them on the mat, and then actively press your arms into your side. So I feel like, like a missile being shot out of a cannon. We're squeezing in really tight, and then we're gonna go for a quick breath in and out through the nose. So if you want more, you can lift your legs. So you're in that full hundred shape, squeeze into your thighs, in and out through the nose. <laughs> Pump your belly down. Squeeze your thighs. Keep it going, really feel your body. Squeeze in, squeeze in tight. What if you only had five seconds left? Keep going, keep going, stay strong. Last 10. And break, let everything go down. Whew. How do you feel? Now I think I'm like beat red. Whew. I feel alive, 
I am awake, I am aware, I am alive. Right, when we change, when we move our body, we change our emotions. Emotions are energy in motion. So you got some energy that don't feel so good, let's reshape it, let's reshape it. All right, let's do that last one one more time. Breath of fire, in and out through the nose. You choose your variation. Here we go. And start to pump. Keep it going when you think you can't. Keep it going a little bit longer. Prove to yourself you can do exactly what you think you can't. Ten. And relax. Let everything relax down. Big breath here, let the ribs really expand out. Take it into a few roll ups. Big inhale, full body stretch, reach fingers and toes away. Interlace your thumbs here. Slowly start to round up through your spine. Peel, head, neck, and shoulders off. Press the legs down, curl all the way up and over. Release into that forward fold. <sighs> Slowly rounding up, stack your spine. Whew, how do you feel? Awake, aware, alive? I do, let's take a little side bend up and over. <sighs> Stretch through that side body, open up towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl round forward. Walk it straight into center. And then really stack your spine from the bottom up. Roll, 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 roll like that strand of pearls. Other side, reaching out and away. Come down just as far as you can. Pull out of your hip, not out of your shoulder. All the way out of that hip. Reach, 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 reach. Opposition, pull. Strengthen, lengthen, open up, open up, open the heart up. Pull. Exhale, release, let it go. Soften. Releasing forward. Slowly round up. Let the head be the last thing. Take that stretch through the back of the neck. And we're done. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Those are just a few quick uh, poses, exercises you can do to really get your body moving and energized. Uh, so I hope you take those with you. I'm Vanessa. If you have any questions, please ask. Until next time, peace and love.